It's a moment none of these players will forget. History in the making for Broader Rangers, their first ever appearance in the last 16 of the Scottish Cup. The well-travelled fans will think nothing of a 500-mile round trip as the Highland League side dream of the Scottish Cup quarter-finals. Scotland's oldest professional club have been on the go since 1869, since which time Kilmarnock have won three Scottish Cups and been to five other finals. Given their renaissance under manager Steve Clark, they may well fancy their chances of reaching another this season. There are five changes to the Kilmarnock team which beat Scottish champion Celtic last week. New goalkeeper Leo Fazan makes his debut with Jamie McDonald rested but on the bench. While defenders Scott Boyd and Stuart Finlay come in with Aaron Shivola and Greg Kilty supplementing the attacking options. You won't be surprised to learn that Ross Tokley has kept faith with the very same Broader Rangers side that knocked East Fife out in the last round. They have a defence that's yet to concede in the Scottish Cup this season, and if that continues today, well, they'll have a replay at Dudgeon Park in 10 days' time, at the very least. Well, what a moment for these Broader Rangers players. The stuff that dreams are made of. He knows all about Scottish Cup shocks, Ross Tokley. He was in the Inverness side that famously won 3-1 at Celtic Park back in 2000. Now then, chance for Jordan Jones to deliver to the back post. It's a decent looking ball, goalkeeper just about gets a touch. Scrambled away, half away and a chance there for Dicker. And the first real chance of the match comes Kilmarnock's way. Jordan Jones is always a real handful for most defenders in Scotland. Lovely ball, just about flicked away by the goalkeeper. And then when it came back here to Dicker, he will expect to do better from there. Almost certainly the furthest travelling band of supporters in the country. 2,000 miles of a Scottish Cup journey so far here to Rugby Park. sense the home side getting up a bit of a head of steam at the moment Kilty tries to play it into Boyd once again there's a red brick wall in Kilmarnock's way so they'll have to try and start once again Malumbu looking for Chris Boyd this time Boyd is through chance for Chris Boyd goes for the lob he'll have been hoping for a better execution than that that's half a chance for Chris Boyd Yusuf Malumbu as ever at the heart of things and Chris Boyd just needed a, a better touch there Malumbu Dicker into Jordan Jones Chris Boyd wants it, chance for Chris Boyd he's offside it's a fine finish but it's not going to count and I think Chris Boyd knew it nice ball from Jones and oh fractionally fractionally offside, he just went too early Chris Boyd Malin up towards McLean come on it could be in here though, Kilty it's going to be a tap in at the back post for Kilmarnock and it's a first ever goal for the club for Aaron Shibola. 42 minutes in and Kilmarnock take the lead it all stems from some nice play from Jones lovely ball and when Kilty's ball came across Shibola could not miss finally Broader Rangers have conceded a goal in the Scottish Cup it's come just before half time at Rugby Park where Kilmarnock leads by one goal to nil an early chance in the second half for Dora Rangers to try and cause some problems and the ball goes all the way through for a corner kick for the visiting side Gavin Morrison's delivery and it was Kirk Broadfoot heading the ball away Here comes the corner kick the delivery's good it's cleared away pretty much from the goal line Gary Dicker was in there great quality on the delivery just about caught everyone out Dicker was there to save the day for Kilmarnock and it'll be you fancy exactly the same again from Xander Sutherland 
and it comes again pretty good delivery come on it can't get the ball clear half a chance for Brora shot was blocked away there still they're asking questions of the Kilmarnock rear guard and it was Jamie Duff who had the shot best spell of the match so far it was Duff's shot there just blocked away by Kilmarnock well, he and his men have decided to give this a right good go in the second half haven't they Chris Boyd is on side can he deliver the finish there's the answer, Kilmarnock you would think are now safe in this cup tie as Chris Boyd scores once again, goal number 14 for the season. He's been caught offside a couple of times, but this time when the ball came from Dicker, Boyd was onside and this is how you'd expect him to finish. Clinical from Chris. Boyd feels away to celebrate Kilmarnock second and the goal that surely sends Broda Rangers out of the Scottish Cup. Only <laughs> Bowen to Shibble, that's a late tackle there. That's a poor challenge on the first goal scorer, Aaron Shibble. It's the captain, Jamie Duff, who could be in trouble. Dribbler just turns away and Captain Duff is just late with the tackle. That's a clear foul, a clear free kick. Shibola, Dicker and Boyd over the ball. Chris Boyd just about shaves the post on its way past. Decent effort that from Chris Boyd. Gets hold of this one nicely. And yes, off the post. Nearly three. Off comes Yusuf Malumbu at the heart of most of Kilmarnock's creativity this afternoon. He's played well. And he'll be replaced by Eamon Brophy. That's a nice ball towards Brophy, the substitute. Eamon Brophy does well, gets the shot away, good save Joe Mallon, well that was almost an instant impact from Eamon Brophy, did well to keep his feet initially and then let fly with his left foot, great save from Joe Mallon, O'Donnell beats one, then a second, tries to play the ball through for Brophy, he might just about get there, does, he does well, Kilty back to Brophy, Gets the shot away, super blocks, still Brophy has it, another shot, well the goalkeeper again, Mallon did well to deny Brophy there. The Kilmarnock substitute, desperate to get on the score sheet this afternoon. Strong play from Brophy, again power on the shot, first time, even more the second time, and good hands from Joe Mallon in goal. Nice play from Kilmarnock, that's a lovely pass from Kilty, the cross comes in, Chris Boyd will feel he should have added to his and Kilmarnock's tally. Lovely delivery from O'Donnell, Boyd saw it and stretched and got there but just couldn't quite get the connection he wanted. Terrific from Jordan Jones. Brophy will have a drive, what a goal! Well that was coming, he tested the goalkeeper with his first couple of efforts and made absolutely sure third time around. Kilmarnock are definitely through to the Scottish Cup quarter-finals and the third goal scorer is Eamon Brophy. When Brophy got the ball here, there was only one thing he was doing, he had options to his right, there was no chance he was passing and here's why. Superb from Eamon Brophy. We had a couple of testers early on, and this was the one that counted. Come on, it could be in here for a fourth. It's Brophy with the shot. Well, he's going for glory, and a couple of his teammates are not best amused. Gary Dicker did well here, picking the pocket, 
and when he played in Brophy he had options to his left but he only saw the goal Broadfoot has Irwin available come on stretching the play now Lee Irwin might try his luck there's a deflection the goalkeeper's panned that one away and Jordan Jones retrieves Shibala Frizzell Frizzell to Finlay might come all the way through here to O'Donnell tries his luck superb Four now, Kilmarnock. Initially they were probing down the other side of the park, but when O'Donnell found himself in that kind of space, it gave him the opportunity to find that kind of finish. It's first ever goal for Kilmarnock. Stephen O'Donnell gives Kelly a 4-0 lead. Feels good. Uh, obviously it was the type of game that we expected. Uh, credit to Brora, they made it really difficult for us at times. We had to be patient, we had to pick away at them, and eventually the chances came and the goals came. Yeah, the goals were good. Uh, we knew, having got the, the one before half time, the, the second goal would be crucial, and we, and we were patient, we kept working. Uh, second half, Brora played a little bit higher line, and we knew there was space behind, and eventually we got Chris in on a 1v1, and you know if you get Chris Boyd in that situation, normally he scores. The competition's been good to me over the years as well, um, You know, and, and, and from a personal point of view, to go through and, and get a goal, you're obviously disappointed that it's not more, because um, mm -hmm. you want as many as you possibly can get, but you know, the most important thing is we're in the next round, um, we've done that, um, You know, it could have been, you know, without being disrespectful to Brora, it should have been a bit more, but um, we, we can't get carried away, we're in the next round, we look forward to it, John and see what happens from there.